Hey okay, Cobbs, how you doing? I've been requested to do a 150 invocation video to show what I would probably run if I want to do to do the like easiest 150s. This is what I've got on at the moment. So I've got soft core, walk for it. You could with any of these invocations, you could turn the ones, you could change it, you could prefer walk the path, and you could put that on and take a bunch of other things off. This is just what I would do. So Deadly prayers on a diet. This is free points because we're going to be taking brews in anyways. You don't need hard food. These are also pretty much free in solos. Same with these. And there's a couple Barba inv invocations on. I always deal with the baboons and the, you still get the same amount of time to run away from the shockwave accordingly. It's um, You just got to run further. It's still the same amount of time. So... If any of these you have trouble with them, I would turn them off and swap for walk the path. But yeah, and also I got overclocked and overclocked too. Um, without these, the warden P3 just feels way too slow, and it is it's harder for me. Um, I would suggest putting these on as the standard, but just you could also take them off and put walk the path on if you have trouble for some reason. All right, so this is the gear we have at the moment. It is pretty minimal. We're using void. So it's about a two two hundred to two hundred and fifty k setup, um, and you could definitely get some upgrades like Dragon Defender, an Abyssal Dagger, or a Harstar would probably be next. A Blowpipe, um, bringing Bando some Blessed Dehyde, and maybe some Mystic. But this is what we've got, um, and it shouldn't be too bad at one fifty. So let's pot and let's go in. All right, so I brought these darts to deal with the uh, Kefri swarms, and I've also brought an anti venom in just because I just love standing in these monkey venom. I don't know why, but I, I literally I can't help it these days. Every time I get on camera, I just stand in monkey venom. Quite depressing. Got a shaman coming in. Where you at? Now, I don't know about you guys, but this is definitely, definitely my least favorite puzzle room. This goes for too long and it's like it's not interesting like you might get stand in some venom and get exploded on by a volatile but like it's kind of boring the other ones you can like rush through with this you can rush through it still but it's just like a not i don't know it's it's not really a puzzle <laughs> not very stimulating kind of like fuck just just want to go afk this room's done, but you can't. If you know what I'm saying. Oh fuck, dude. Getting swarmed by venom. Now I think the downfall of this run's definitely gonna be this dragon sword. But I was thinking I could bring the abyssal dagger, but what's that gonna really like? That's an extra couple mil for some people so and that's more than this setup's worth at all so yeah I'm just gonna keep it really low
Dude, I can't. Everything looks the same in my inventory, man. Steady, steady. That's the room complete. Four minutes. A bit longer than usual. I didn't even heal up at the end there. That's okay. But we got bruised. Burn dagger spec. God, we're pounding this guy. See, I feel like even with the small one, you have the same time to get away from either of them. It's just the big one, you have to run an extra tile away. You still get an extra tick to deal with it. Unless I'm wrong, but that just seems... I always get hit with that small one. Now, nah, I probably should have just propped it, but we are dealing with these baboons. Mount's procs. Get to the back of the room. Go up to that range gear. Now with these, I usually just wait till they kind of line up. There we go. Better safe than sorry. Now, I know I haven't been doing it, but I'm going to do it now. You should always kind of position yourself around the boulder. So you are safe when the boulder gets thrown. Just good practice. Don't want to be looking for that boulder last minute. Last second. And you always prefer to be at the back of the room when the monkey procs the boulders everything's boulders in this room these are rubble i'm gonna call them rubble now for these boulders you want to be at the back of the room i will right, we'll wait till the next one oh Now our specs coming up here. Oh. There we go. That three minute barber. It's not it's not horrible. Not horrible. <laughs> Are we go Kefri now? Go this way. I like this way more. 32. Yeah. 
done. What the hell? I've completely forgotten what it was. It's this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. W diamond boot. W. Diamond. I'll get the ranger. Actually forgot about this, but we're going to uh, put these on. Can't get that guy. Oh, putting that shit. These darts actually suck for this. The range on them's a bit too slow. <laughs> Maybe we'll get a good one next one. <laughs> I still reckon it's probably still worth bringing the darts, but you want to be a bit more on your on your game. If you don't have a blowpipe, everyone should have a blowpipe. You do not need one though, but it helps. Okay. I'm gonna pray mage. Last time I didn't have a problem with this guy at all. Alright. There we go. Pray me the eagle.
can blood barrage these fellas. For health. too bad. 4 minutes 43. Always power. Power's the way. And we'll go Arca. Now I got a one down last time, but I think that was because I was hitting good. Yeah, this isn't going to be a one down. I really bad hit. I do need another dragon pickaxe. I think I might have to go get one. on your mage gear make sure you salt up some people forget the salt here i have before and then you just want to start butterflying just kidding just kidding No, I don't have a really good weapon to actually use on these shadows, I think. I think, to be honest, these are... Diamond Bolts are the best.
All right, I am back. It's a shame I walked into that one. Seems like mage is like, might be my best damage. I don't know. I don't know how mage works on the shadows though. Like it seems to work sometimes. I'll try it on this next shadow and see how it goes. I'm scared though, I don't want to walk. Oh, here we go, here we go. Yeah, I don't think that's my best weapon for these shadows, to be honest. Yeah, I think you want to have some specs for the end. For sure. Ideally get up to high as health as you can. Get your melee weapons on. And... Prey Mage and Piety. I think two... Is it two? Okay. We'll do two hits and then a DDS. Now, we haven't hit him yet, but I'm sure we will soon. This dragon sword is sucking against this boss. There we go. Now we got the croc. I should have been using my ruby bolts, man. That was uh, very silly of me. I don't know if I'll make this because I was kind of daydreaming at the start there, but see. How oh, we made it. Cool. Decided to. Oh my god, dude, I'm at a 48. Really? That's just crazy. I guess I better bone dagger spec. Now, mind the switches, they're not, um, <laughs> they're not looking too good today. Oh, there it is. A hundred. <laughs> Feels like I'm back at next. <laughs> I have to mind that as well, that we don't have as much range. I think it's uh, very like three tiles. But we'll test it after this. Does this one drag me in? No. Okay, I think this is it. I go here. Drags you in. Okay, so that's... That is the range. Maybe a little bit wary of that. Alright, easy solve.
Now I'm quite interested. What am I going to use on that pillar, huh? <laughs> I think mage might be a go. Maybe I can proc a little ruby bolt spec and then use some mage. I don't know. We'll see. All right, I think that's it for the ruby bolts. Not hitting very high now. Yeah, that croc was nice. I didn't think it would be that quick. Two minutes 14. That's a speed ball. All right, we'll go life. Joy is pretty good life. Life's good. Life's good. Now, this should be a two down. Should be a two down for sure. So, I don't know. I don't know what one. I'm going to look. I'm going to do the Kefri one. I just like it. I don't know. And plus, if it's a three down, the range shouldn't be. Oh, I guess we're using a shitty. I don't know, man. I don't know. Actually, no. We're gonna we're gonna block the opposite one. Okay. Get all our little nicks and knacks out. Look, I don't know what I'm doing. All right. I don't mind. It's all good. These two get this one. Bone dagger can all screw out of here. Bring all this shit down here. I'm not using. Ran these two. Oh, that's um a nice little. Could be plenty. All right. Might start off with uh like two DDS specs or something, and then um maybe a little bit of range. We'll see. We'll see. I'm gonna start it now. We probably should block this. <laughs> I did a fifty three, though. I think Mage would be the go. Maybe mage isn't the go. I thought this thing had negative 10 uh, mage defense. Pretty sloppy, but you know it works.
One, two, three, four, five. Put a little poke as well. Oh. Mage is actually going to be quicker, believe it or not. Got a four tick weapon. I did not see that. I was staring at my inventory. But as if that still gets me. I thought they made a fix to that. Guess it was um still too late or something. I'm glad I went this one though. This looks like it is going to be a three down. Yeah, that's um good to know that it doesn't as soon as you kill the boss and it goes down, it's it still has a timer until it is invulnerable. It still hits you for a bit. Oh, did I click that? I click the fucking sword on him. That's just unfortunate. I had to click there, but that's him apparently. Clicked his big sword. You don't want to stand in this middle area most of the time, but we know that windmill just happens, so we're free to stand here. Now, insanity is not on. Reminder to self. Where's those ruby bolts at? How can we save our spec for the end and we EDS him? And that's the shout. Um no ruby bolts popping off, did it's kinda I kinda wanted to hear that sound a little bit more. Make that sound for me. Oh, nice. I'm talking about. <laughs> so here you want to pray range. And just keep pegging along with the boss. Now, if you don't have stay vigilant on, he only does three. Oh my god, it's happening. He only does three attacks and then swaps. 
You can just keep. That's one, I think. That's two. That's three. So after this one's fired, we can go ahead and swap. Oh, dude, again. Three in a row? Oh, come on. How long do you have with these before they blow you up? Alright. <laughs> Seems like you wouldn't have to worry about it at all. Because I don't know how many ticks I was wasted there, but it still wasn't a problem. That is how you do not do skulls. If I did that in Insanity, I would have been dead. Alright, here we go. Can we get a little Ruby Bolt to start this off? I guess we cannot. Boom, there we go. 200k setup or 150 invocation raid. You know what? I reckon we get a purple right now. I don't know, man. Maybe not. No purple. But hey, I had a feeling it didn't happen. That's okay. Check these rooms out. So 250k. Yeah. Not bad at all. What do we get? What the fuck? 567k? What? You're joking. Okay. <laughs> that's almost three times what our setup's worth. Oh, that's two and a half times what our setup's worth. That is fucking crazy, man. Maybe I won't do experts anymore. God damn. Alright, clubs, thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope it helped you out. Also, I would say Void is probably the go here. It is, ch if you have it, it is all, it's free. And, um, and then you could just focus on buying upgrades. So, I would definitely get a Blowpipe and an Abyssal Dagger first, and even a Haster. Pretend this is a Haster. Um, get a Haster as well, like either Abyssal Dagger or a Haster to upgrade your gear. Using Void is fine. It's good if you have it because it's free and its DPS is pretty good. So Void's good. Upgrade your weapons first and um, good luck with your 150 invocations. Let me know how you go in the comments and tell me if this helped you or if you find it easier with different invocations on or if you want me to do it in different gear or with different invocations on. Alright, see ya, Corbs.